talk about this now. Well, I think yeah. um, you need to maintain the hunger. To start at the top, it's very easy to be satisfied with what you've done and you wouldn't begrudge them for doing that, Richmond, but there was just no, a no. few, few warning signs. Am I thinking what you're yeah. thinking? Are you, Are you feeling it? it? I <laughs> am. It's taken until three-quarter time of the show, but there it is. I'm feeling it. I want to take a look at some of the efforts from the Richmond players. And this is why, look, I think they'll come good and they'll be OK, but I'd be concerned about this. Hawley backing out of that contest. That's very un-Richmond-like, something they wouldn't have let their teammates get away with. That from Pickett is just not good enough. You've got a body line this ball, Bolton, he overruns it, he wanted to tap it and be fancy. And this, this one's about as, as bad as it gets on a footy field uh, from, from Marlon Pickett. You know, in the game number four, he ducks his head. So, so that's the issue. But then to see after the game, and this is the source of the volcano, what could you possibly be laughing about when you haven't touched the ball for three weeks on the back of, yes, you had a good grand final, oh, but why... why it's, it's not a good look, and the coaches are filthy with that. Mark Williams didn't let us shake hands if we lost the game after a game. So to see that, how much is it meaning to the Tigers who have been up the top for so long, to see the effort on the field and then to see the mucking around the change rooms is just a, a small warning sign. Mucking that around? They're just what, laughing? Yeah. Is it, is it fair? Um, I know I sort of... If I played a shocker and had four or five touches, I, there's no way I'd be reaching, saying, hey, Damo, and laughing about anything. I'm not... You know, everyone's different. Everyone deals with mm. getting over a poor performance in a different way. So um, it's not a hanging offence in my regard, but I wouldn't have done it. If I'd, I'm just gutted for you know, a day, two days. But that might have been half my problem too because I couldn't yeah. get on with things a little bit. Just, little, I, little, little, warning, yeah. just little warning signs yeah, is I what I'm saying. I understand that, but I just think in, in this current climate where they're effectively, I'm not going to say prisoners in their own home, but almost... Um, yeah, cut them a little bit of slack. Mm. Yeah, yeah I'll, and, I'll... and it will get... If we start highlighting things like that, it'll get to a point where the clubs will say, get the cameras out of the rooms. We don't want them in there. And that's OK. Well, we're not going to miss too much from them sitting down. But I just think, how much is it meaning to the Tigers when they've been up the top for so long? I mean, if you want to be remembered as a Brisbane, a Geelong or a Hawthorne, you've probably got to win another one now. And that's not taking anything away from the great side they've been the last three years. But... On field, off field, small warning signs yep. that the hunger isn't there. Um, is it also time to have Marlon Pickett uh, out of that team, Kane? I, I know that also may seem harsh too, but given yeah. the, the grand final, the, the debut game and the three matches, it's not that, haven't been yeah. the same. No, it's not that harsh. I think a three-week stretch of poor form is, is about the form line where you're prepared to look at bringing someone else back in and maintaining selec uh, selection integrity. So I wouldn't be surprised if he lost his place in the side this week. Let's